He is known for his writings and ideas on Jews and the Jewish religion, which played a significant role in the development of the Jewish Enlightenment. He is recognized for being regarded as a leading cultural figure of his time by both Christian and Jewish communities in German-speaking Europe and beyond. He is Moses Mendelssohn. In the bustling city of Berlin, during the 18th century, lived a man named Moses Mendelssohn. Born into a humble Jewish family in Dessau, he was destined to become a rabbi. However, Mendelssohn's insatiable thirst for knowledge led him down a different path. He immersed himself in the world of German thought and literature, self-educating himself in philosophy and religion. Mendelssohn's writings and ideas on Jews and the Jewish religion would go on to have a profound impact on the world. His belief in the importance of embracing secular knowledge and integrating it with Jewish traditions became a central element in the development of the Haskalah, also known as the Jewish Enlightenment. Through his eloquent words, Mendelssohn challenged the prevailing prejudices and stereotypes that surrounded his community. His influence extended far beyond the Jewish community. Both Christian and Jewish inhabitants of German-speaking Europe and beyond regarded him as a leading cultural figure of his time. Mendelssohn's contribution to society was not limited to his philosophical ideas, he also played a pivotal role in the Berlin textile industry, which laid the foundation of his family's wealth. Moses Mendelssohn's legacy lives on through his descendants, who continued to make their mark on the world. The renowned composers Fanny and Felix Mendelssohn, Felix's son, chemist Paul Mendelssohn Bartholdy, and Fanny's grandsons, Paul and Kurt Hensel, all carried the Mendelssohn name with pride. From humble beginnings to intellectual enlightenment and cultural impact, Moses Mendelssohn's story is a testament to the power of ideas and the enduring influence of one man's beliefs. In the bustling city of Berlin, a young man named Moses Mendelssohn embarked on a remarkable journey of self-discovery and intellectual growth. Born into a humble family, Moses faced challenges from an early age, including a debilitating curvature of the spine. Yet, his thirst for knowledge and determination to overcome adversity propelled him forward. Under the tutelage of his father and the local rabbi, Moses delved into the rich teachings of the Torah and the philosophy of Maimonides. But his hunger for learning extended beyond religious texts. With the help of a Polish refugee and a young Jewish physician, Moses learned mathematics, Latin, French, and English. He was a self-taught scholar, driven by a passion to expand his horizons. One fateful day, Moses crossed paths with Gotthold Ephraim Lessing, a renowned writer and philosopher. They bonded over a game of chess, a game that would symbolize their intellectual connection. Lessing had recently produced a play called, Die Juden, challenging the prevailing notion that Jews could not possess nobility of character. In Mendelssohn, Lessing found a kindred spirit who embodied this very ideal. Their friendship blossomed, and Lessing introduced Mendelssohn to the public through the publication of his work. In 1755, without Mendelssohn's knowledge, Lessing anonymously published, Philosophical Conversations, an essay criticizing the neglect of native German philosophers. Their collaboration continued with the joint authorship of an anonymous satire, Pope a Metaphysician. Mendelssohn's intellectual pursuits were not limited to academia. He also sought to make a meaningful impact on society. One of his greatest contributions was advocating for religious tolerance and bridging the gap between different faiths. His belief in the power of dialogue and understanding resonated deeply with his own Jewish heritage. Mendelssohn's philosophy emphasized the importance of embracing diversity and finding common ground. He understood that true enlightenment could only be achieved through respectful discourse and open-mindedness. His life's work was a testament to the idea that we can overcome barriers and prejudices by cultivating empathy and embracing our shared humanity. Mendelssohn's legacy continues to inspire us today. His unwavering pursuit of knowledge, his commitment to dialogue, and his belief in the potential for unity amidst diversity serve as valuable lessons for navigating the complexities of our daily lives. Like Mendelssohn, we can strive to break down barriers, expand our understanding, and foster a more inclusive and compassionate world. Moses Mendelssohn, a prominent philosopher and critic, found himself at the center of Friedrich Nikolai's literary endeavors. He fearlessly critiqued the poems of the King of Prussia, despite the risks involved. In 1762, Mendelssohn married Fromet Guggenheim, and their union would last for many years. The following year, Mendelssohn's intellectual prowess earned him the prestigious prize offered by the Berlin Academy for his essay on the application of mathematical proofs to metaphysics, titled, On Evidence in the Metaphysical Sciences. Notably, his competitors included Thomas Abt and Immanuel Kant, with Kant coming in second place. In October of 1763, Mendelssohn received a significant privilege from the king, the title of, Protected Jew. This granted him the right to reside undisturbed in Berlin, although it did not extend to his wife and children. Inspired by his correspondence with Abt, Mendelssohn embarked on writing about the immortality of the soul. 
the prevailing materialistic views of the time had caused faith in immortality to wane. Seizing the opportunity, Mendelssohn published Faden oder über die Unsterblichkeit der Seele, a work modeled after Plato's dialogue of the same name. Mendelssohn's book captivated the German world with its eloquence and clarity, and it quickly gained popularity. Phaedo became one of the most widely read books of its time in German and was promptly translated into multiple European languages, including English. The success of Phaedo earned Mendelssohn accolades in comparisons to the great philosophers of antiquity. He was hailed as the German Plato or the German Socrates. His intellectual achievements garnered attention from royalty and aristocrats, who sought his company and bestowed numerous honors upon him. It was said that anyone visiting Berlin made a point to pay their respects to the esteemed German Socrates. Mendelssohn's early prominence as a philosopher and critic, particularly his work on the immortality of the soul, not only solidified his reputation as a brilliant thinker but also sparked a renewed interest in the subject. His ability to challenge prevailing materialistic views and present his ideas with elegance and clarity continues to inspire us today. Mendelssohn's contributions remind us to critically examine our beliefs and seek deeper meanings in our lives, even when faced with skepticism or prevailing cultural trends. Moses Mendelssohn, a renowned Jewish philosopher and critic, had dedicated his life to the pursuit of knowledge and understanding. However, it was an unexpected encounter with a young theology student named Johann Kaspar Lavater that would redirect the course of Mendelssohn's life towards the cause of Judaism. In April 1763, Lavater and his companions visited Mendelssohn in Berlin and pressed him to share his views on Jesus. Mendelssohn, ever respectful of differing beliefs, acknowledged that he respected the morality of Jesus' character if he had remained within the confines of Orthodox Judaism. Six years later, Lavater sent Mendelssohn a German translation of an essay on Christian evidences, challenging him to refute it or, if unable to do so, to admit its unanswerable arguments. In response, Mendelssohn penned an open letter in December 1769, where he explained his stance. He compared his admiration for great figures like Confucius or Solon, stating that he could love and admire them without feeling the need to convert them. Mendelssohn believed in the principles of his faith, which allowed for respect and appreciation of different beliefs without imposing one's own. This public controversy took its toll on Mendelssohn, consuming much of his time, energy, and strength. Despite the challenges he faced, Mendelssohn's character was described by Lavater himself as a brilliant and companionable soul, with piercing eyes and the body of an Aesop. Mendelssohn possessed keen insight, exquisite taste, and vast erudition, all while remaining frank and open-hearted. In 1775, when the Swiss-German Jewish community faced expulsion, they turned to Mendelssohn for help. Mendelssohn, in turn, reached out to his friend, Lavater, explaining the situation and appealing for assistance. Lavater, upon receiving Mendelssohn's letter, swiftly and effectively secured the Jewish community's right to stay, showcasing the impact of Mendelssohn's relationships and influence. Mendelssohn's encounter with Lavater not only shaped his personal journey but also highlighted the importance of respecting and understanding different beliefs. Mendelssohn's philosophy emphasized the ability to love and admire great individuals without the necessity of conversion. His commitment to dialogue and tolerance remains relevant today, reminding us of the need for empathy and acceptance in our daily lives. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.